because when you have like wide shots, we're able to tell what's going on at any given moment. Right. So to kind right. of build the tension. You know, um, there's a lot of emphasis placed on this being a competition. You know, there's a lot of rules and there's a time frame which gives it a good amount of excitement. But it, uh, for us, it's more important to have a really good experience and for the students to, to get real world experience and to get that production, you know, vibe and to create and, and have fun and also to build a community here in Jacksonville. It's not so much about winning an award or, or being part of a competition as it is reaching out and finding other like-minded, you know, directors and producers in the area and building a network. Beating the faculty team. That's what I'm looking most forward to. Bragging rights around school. <laughs> That's what I hope to get out of it in the end. It was very fast paced and energetic and uh, both teams actually won awards for their film. So it was just a very rewarding experience for everyone involved and we're excited to participate again this year. So. No sleep. And that's the hardest part about it, I think, is the, uh, the all the pressure and then multiplied by no sleep. I heard a, a lot of people say they hope to get horror and a lot of people, uh, you know, they, they all have different tastes and they all want something different. Personally, I think mockumentary would be a blast just because my background is documentary, so it would give me a chance to really focus on it, something I love so much. If you drew horror, science fiction, or fantasy, I don't think that you can do any of those well in one day. I mean, essentially your props are going to be cardboard boxes wrapped in aluminum foil, and uh, I just don't think that's a... You could do those well in one day.